Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no-hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. Weather Extreme Video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Thursday, the 16th of August. I'm James Spam. Rain chances going up tomorrow and over the weekend. Heat levels are coming down. Check it out. There's the upper air look around the nation this afternoon. Got an upper low over South Dakota. That uh, energy gradually shifting south and east. That will help to enhance the rain chances here in coming days. There's the visible satellite view today. Got the sea breeze front coming in from the south, thunderstorms over south Alabama, some storms over the northwest part of the state as well. There's the visible satellite view, that uh, sea breeze activity up to Montgomery and Tuskegee and Phoenix City as of 241. And again, a few showers over northwest Alabama. Temperatures are mostly in the low 90s, some spots with upper 80s. Anniston 88, Tuscaloosa 93. Highs go back in the 80s in coming days with an increase in clouds and showers. On the watch warning map, heat advisories for places like Little Rock and Memphis. Flash flood watches for parts of the southwest United States, but things are calm here. Here's the severe weather outlook for the rest of today and tonight. Got the standard slight risk of severe weather for cities like Oklahoma City, Wichita, Tulsa, and Springfield. A marginal risk clipping the northwestern corner of the state for tonight. And then tomorrow, that marginal risk extends down to Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, and Anniston, Inter Interstate 20. As some of the storms tomorrow afternoon there could produce maybe some small hail and strong gusty straight line winds. And on day three, Saturday, marginal risk well to the west, but a pretty good chance of showers and storms here. This is the rain for the next seven days, relatively wet for the east. Rain amounts for the north between two and three inches, one to two inches for the southern counties of the state. And off in the tropics, we have subtropical storm Ernesto up in the North Atlantic. That's above 40 north, top winds 45 miles an hour, kind of a minimal storm. Moving northeast out to sea, no threat to land. And a wave down in the Atlantic approaching the Windward Islands. We'll have a hard time because of harsh winds and dry air. Odds of develop development there are low. The rest of the Atlantic Basin is quiet. All right, model fans, let's check it out. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, tomorrow afternoon at 1. And you can see the energy approaching from the north and west. The air becomes more unstable, cloudy at times, with scattered to numerous showers and storms. Highs should be in the upper 80s. Weather, uh, weather for the weekend looking relatively wet. This is Saturday and this is Sunday. And understand it's not going to rain all weekend, but occasional showers and storms are likely. The sky cloudy for the most part. Sun should be out at times, rather limited amounts of sunshine. Highs for the weekend again in the 80s. This is Monday, looking relatively wet. Got a surface low that's over Missouri. Showers and storms likely. And Tuesday, a surface front trails that low that's uh, east of Detroit. So again, showers and storms, a good possibility. Bottom line is, things looking fairly wet and unsettled tomorrow through Tuesday of next week. And then Wednesday, we start to get into drier air. The better chance of showers shifting down into South Alabama. And a week from today, Thursday the 23rd, troughing passing north and east of here. And again, if this verifies, the northern half of the state should be mostly sunny. Humidity values a little lower, nights a little cooler, with a better chance of showers down across the southern half of the state. But as always, we caution you, fronts often don't make it that far south. Wouldn't be totally shocked if it stalled out maybe closer to the Tennessee state line. We'll keep an eye on things. Let's go out there 10 days, Sunday, August 26th. Got a standard flat ridge here, and again, that looks typical for summer. Hot, muggy, maybe a pop-up storm. Here are the numbers coming off the National Weather Service Best Blend of Models products. Highs mostly in the 80s for a while. Maybe touching 90 toward the end of next week. And the CPC temperature outlook. This is August 24th through August 30th, suggesting below normal, below average temperatures for much of the northern half of the state, and we'll sure take that. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Summer's just around the corner, and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models, so give us a call today to get a free, no-hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.